up my YouTube people? Thanks for coming back to see Just What I Do today. I hope you're having a great day. It's rather early here in Colorado. Trying to get this all rolling. Today, as you can see, we are going to be cooking something. This is going to be a one pot dinner. A set it and forget it type dinner. You throw it all in the crock pot together, let it go until it smells good and the meat's done. And there's dinner. It's super simple. Literally, set it, forget it, walk away. All throw it in at once. Kind of a dump dinner type thing. But as you can see, we've got a bunch of ingredients in front of us. This stew is called Loaded Brat Stew. Now as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in it. It's really loaded. Now if there's something in here that you don't like, then don't put it in. It's no big deal. It's it's no big deal. Swap it out for something that, some other vegetable that you do like. Now, if you want to use fresh vegetables instead of frozen vegetables like what I'm going to do, go ahead. That, that'll work just fine too. But that's enough rambling. Let me show you the ingredients that we're all going to slap into this crock pot. This is a large sized crock pot. We're going to throw in as much as we can. We're going to load this crock pot until it wants to explode. This is going to make a very large dinner. So if you like leftovers, so you don't have to figure out a dinner for another night, this would be the perfect dinner for you. But anyways, let me run through the ingredients and we'll move on to the next step after that. We're going to uh, dice up this onion and whack that in. We're also going to use about, I don't know, half a bag of these baby carrots. I'm just going to cut each one in half. Just cut it in half and that'll work just perfectly. About maybe half a bag, maybe a little less. We're going to throw in two bags of the broccoli florets. We're going to dice up three poblano peppers. Throw those in. As I said, these were broccoli florets. We're going to throw in two bags of those. We're going to throw in two bags of the zucchini blend. Which is just a green zucchini and yellow squash. We're also going to throw in a bag of green beans. A bag of Brussels sprouts. Just throw the whole thing in. We're also going to throw in some corn. And just because I saw it on the shelf, we're going to throw in some butternut squash. Um, what else am I forgetting? Oh! We're also going to be dicing up some potatoes. About five or six potatoes or so, because we are going to load the heck out of this crock pot. Oh, and the main ingredient would be brats. Doesn't matter what kind of brats you get, these are the Boulder Sausage Bratwurst. The MVP, MVBs, sorry, learn to read. Phonics done did work for me. These are MVB, most valuable brats. But they're Boulder, Colorado based brats. Now, you don't have to get these ones if you want to just get whatever kind of brat you like. You can get the cheesy brats, you can get the beer brats, you can get regular brats, you can get name brand, store brand, doesn't matter, just get brats. We're going to not really cut these up we're gonna pull them out of their casing and just sort of chunk them up I'll show you that when we get to it but that is all going to go in this crock pot we're gonna cram pack it full we're also going to season it with some garlic powder onion powder and of course pepper season it to your liking but for now I'm going to dice up these potatoes along with the poblano peppers the onion, a few carrots, and I'm going to whack that all into the crock pot. When I get that done, I'll bring you back and we'll move on to this next step of the loaded brat stew. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do all that and then I'll bring you back. So here we go. Well, now that we have all that prep work done, of prepping all the vegetables and whatnot, we got all the potatoes, well not all the potatoes, we did about six large potatoes, we just sort of chunked them up. We also have the onion diced up in here. We're going to dump the pepper in. This was three poblano peppers. 
Now they're no specific size, they're just sort of small diced up. Now, grab my spatula and we're just going to give it a stir ever so often so that way everything sort of mixed together. And then I did about three big handfuls of carrots. As you can see, I just cut them in half. Again, we're just going to give that a stir. Yes, it looks like it's getting full already. We're going to whack in as many vegetables as we can. We're going to dump in our Brussels sprouts. Dump in our bag of green beans. Give that a quick stir so everything's all mixed together. And I did have this crock pot preheating while I was uh, dicing up all the vegetables. We're gonna throw in our bag of corn. Throw in our bag of broccoli. Big chunk of broccoli. Give that a stir. Getting pretty darn full. That's why it's called loaded brat stew. Now we're gonna throw in a bag of zucchini and squash. Now I'm gonna wait till some of this cooks down a bit before I go throwing in the other bag of zucchini and the other bag of broccoli. But for now we're gonna try and put as much in here as we can before we go adding the meat because we still have the brats to go but we're going to toss in our butternut squash without making a mess so there is all the vegetables we're just going to give this a quick stir as, as best we can anyways So there is all our vegetables, minus one bag of broccoli and one bag of squash. We're going to wait for this to cook down a bit, because it is going to cook down, and then we'll see about adding those in. If not, that's okay, we'll use those in a different recipe, but for now, we're going to try and add in our, our brats. Now all I did with these brats was cut the casing off and just sort of pulled them and chunked them up into pieces. Yes, some is going to break down in, into the stew, but that's okay. That'll just make it even more tasty. So all we're gonna do is try and sprinkle these across the top, uh, and then we're gonna season it across the top. I know you're thinking it's just across the top. How's it gonna get in? We're gonna let this cook down a bit so that way we are able to stir it without making a mess in a couple hours. So let's just sprinkle these brats across the top as best we can. Yes, there's probably more brats than, or more vegetables than brats, but hey, I'm okay with that. It'll all turn out really tasty. Because the, the juice and the fat from these brats will drip down into the vegetables. Help season the vegetables. Yes, the lid is going to squish it a bit when I go to put it on, but that's okay, as long as we can get the lid on. So there we go, we got all of those brats in. Give me one second, let me wash my hands. We're also going to blop some butter on the top. Just cuz. And now all we're going to do is season it a little bit. Later on we'll season it even more before we serve it. So here is some onion powder. And some garlic powder. And 
and some pepper. And that's it. Now we're going to whack the lid on as best we can. Yes, it is going to squish it down a little bit, but that's okay. So there we go. We got the lid on it as best we can. It's not completely on, but it'll do. Now we're going to let this go on high for about four hours, and then we're going to check it. Because you want your vegetables to be tender and your brats to be completely done. Now, depending on your crock pot, it may take longer. Uh, other crock pots may be hotter. Who knows? You can always do this in, probably in an Instapot. I don't have one of those, but that's okay. We're going to use a crock pot. So on low, it would probably be about, I don't know, eight hours or so. On high, it would probably be about four hours or so. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to let this go on high until it starts smelling really good and tasty. And then I'm going to turn it down to low and let it finish cooking that way until the vegetables are tender. Now, again, depending on your crock pot, it may take longer, it may take less time on low. But either way, we're going to let this go until it smells really good. Then we're going to turn it down to low, let it go for another couple hours, and then we'll come back and we'll check in after that. So we'll see you back here in a couple of hours. Well... As you can tell, it has cooked down a lot. Because if you remember, we really had to squish to get this lid on. But as you can see, it has cooked down a lot. Now, I did not add the second bag of broccoli or the second bag of zucchini mix. I'll just save that for a lunch sometime, cook it out, and have it for lunch. But that is why this is called loaded brat stew. Because you're supposed to load it with as much vegetables as you would like. Again, if there's a vegetable in there that you don't like, change it out for one you do like. You could add mushrooms, you could add a can of tomatoes, you could add beans if you wanted to. You can add whatever the heck you like. That's why it's called loaded. You just stuff the crock pot full, add some brats, stuff it full of whatever vegetables you want, add some brats. You can even, when you go to serve it, sprinkle it with a little cheese if you wanted to, if you wanted to gild the lily. But let's open this real quick, give it a stir, see how it's going. Because I started this at 6 o'clock this morning. It is now 2.48. So it's been... I let it go until I started smelling it. And then once it smelled really good, I turned it down to low. So it's been on low this whole time. There we go. As you can see, the brats are all nicely done and cooked. It has shrank down a lot, which was to be expected. We're going to try and give this a stir without making a mess, potentially. Now just be careful because this is fudge and hot. Just try and give it a stir, see if we can get those brats down in there. We did just sort of crown them on the top. Have to break them up a little bit, but but everything's done. It's nice, and all the vegetables are nice and tender. The carrots are done. The potatoes are done. The everything's tender, ready to go. So all we need to do is give this a good stir. After breaking up all these uh, brat balls. Just, just break them up to, in the pieces you already had them. It's nothing special. And then we're going to give this a good stir. The Brussels sprouts are nice and tender. Because the only thing left to do is probably, after giving this a good stir, season it a bit more because we did just season the top. So we're going to give this a stir. And if you remember at the beginning, we did not add any water or broth or anything else. That was because the crock pot would make its own from all the vegetables and whatnot. And the butter, which we're going to add more butter because there's a heck of a lot of vegetables here. As you can see, everything's nice and tender. Get this stirred up pretty good. Got the broccoli in there, the Brussels sprouts, 
the pumpkin, not pumpkin, the butternut squash, giant difference. And you got your uh, Brussels sprouts, your peppers, your onions, your potatoes, carrots. Now again, if you wanted to use fresh vegetables, go for it. If you wanted to use canned vegetables, that would work too. So we're going to season it with some onion powder again. Now this is a big pot, so we're going to season it heavily. And we're going to do the same with our garlic powder again. And our pepper. Now you season it to your liking. If you want to make it spicy, add some chili powder. If you don't like garlic powder, then omit the garlic powder. Just season it however you like it. Just want to gently stir this, trying not to break up all the vegetables. Because as you can see, it did make a fair amount of juice at the bottom. That's why it's a stew, not a soup. Although I'm sure you could call it a soup if you really wanted to. So there we go. That is tonight's dinner. It is loaded brat stew. Now we shoved it with a bunch of vegetables, shoved it, loaded it with a bunch of vegetables as possible, as much as we could get in there. Now I could throw the other stuff over the top and let it go for another hour until they get tender. But I think I might just save it for later. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll just save those for another dinner. So that was one bag of corn, one bag of green beans, one bag of butternut squash. Excuse me. One bag of broccoli, one bag of Brussels sprouts. You could add okra in here. We did about five potatoes, a good handful of carrots, three poblano peppers. I feel like I'm forgetting something. And the peppers making me want to sneeze. So, and then that was two packs of brats. If you want to use cheesy brats, then use cheesy brats. If you want to use beer brats, then go for it. Excuse me. So, you just load it with whatever vegetables you like. If you want to throw tomatoes in, throw them in. It doesn't matter, just load the crock pot as full as possible. That's why it's called loaded. Excuse me. So, since that's all ready and going, it's uh, almost ready for dinner. I'm going to throw some butter over the top, let it melt in, and then we're going to have it with some spinach crock pot bread I made earlier. We're going to have that with our family dinner and a nice piece of cake afterwards with a salad. Well, cake after dinner, not with a salad, that'd be weird. But we're going to have this with a salad and the spinach bread that I made earlier. But first, would you care to try it? Gonna get you a bite with a brat. Here you go. Be careful, it's extremely hot. Whew, that was hot, wasn't it? But it's pretty good. Got all them different vegetables in there. A quick set it and forget it dinner. You just load the crock pot with as much vegetables and whatever vegetables you like. You can even throw in mushrooms. Even wild mushrooms, yes I have wild mushrooms, I could have put those in there because we went mushroom hunting in my Friday trip videos. We gathered several different kinds of mushrooms up in the Colorado mountains. But you could put that in there if you wanted to or just load it with whatever you like. So, I'm going to put the lid on this, get this ready to go over to my aunt's house for family night dinner. Go get everything else ready to go. So that's going to conclude this video. 
Thanks for watching Just What I Do. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments, especially if you made it this far. I greatly appreciate it if you made it this far. I know I have a tendency to ramble. It is what it is. But, thanks for watching Just What I Do. Whack the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers before Halloween. Not quite sure how well that's going to work out. It is what it is. You get what you get. It's the way it is with YouTube. One minute you're ahead, next minute you fall backwards again. It's inevitable. It's the way it goes with YouTube. I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks for watching Just What I Do. Whack the like button. Subscribe. Check out my Friday videos. They're of the Colorado Mountains. There's a lot of leaf peeping right now. Leaf peeping is just about over. Pretty much over. But there's some things to see. If you want to see what the Colorado Mountains look like during the winter, subscribe, whack the like button, ring the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post, and I'll catch you next time on Just What I Do. I'll stop rambling now. Later, taters!